Hello, my name is Trey, and today I'm going to show y'all how to remove the old caulking and install new caulking on a bathtub. First thing you want to do is put on your PPE equipment and your goggles, respiratory mask, because you're going to have a lot of stuff flying at you. Because yeah, sometimes this stuff's pretty hard and it'll shoot out. So, first thing you want to do is to score with a utility knife. The old caulking, I like to hit it from the top and the side and then begin to scrape it with a 6-in-1 tool. As you see, you got to give it several scores. What you don't want to do is push too hard on the ceramic tile because you'll break the tile and you don't want to do that. That will cause another job. It takes a little work, just keep scoring and scraping, and you'll eventually get it off. There we go. And just apply this same principle all the way down till you have it all off. Okay, now that we've removed the old caulking from there, what you want to do is sweep it real good with a brush where you can get a shop vac, but I don't like to use a shop vac because of all the debris that it blows in the air. So I like to brush it off real good and then I'll get some bleach water that's been diluted and I'll spray it. We're using bleach to get any mildew or mold that's inside the tiles. And then you want to scrub it with a just a bristle brush, something like this. It's something that's not too hard. And just clean it real good, let that bleach water get in there. And after you scrub it real good, just get your rag and wipe it down dry. Now you don't want to apply the new caulking right away. You want this to air dry. I like to let it dry for an hour just to be sure it got dry all the way. You can wait longer if you want to. And so, then, we'll let that dry for a bit. Okay, so now it has dried thoroughly. And we want to apply, there's all kinds of caulking out there, but of course we all know this one. Kitchen and bath adhesive caulk. I like to use this one because it's mildew resistant and mold resistant. You want to cut it in a 45 degree angle. I've already cut this one. And then you want to apply a nice even bead all the way across. You can do a couple of coats if you're not happy with the first one. And then you want to wipe it with your, with your finger. I like to do a, a dry wipe first and then I'll wet my finger with the, a wet towel and then wipe it. You can give it as many strokes as you want. If you're not happy with it, wipe it all off and start over. There we go. Nice clean bead. Looks good. Thank you guys.